Welcome to the After Show Show for episode 95. If this is your first time tuning in, this is not the main episode. This is the I'm a sassy girl of the main episode where we talk about random topics of interest. And this episode, we kind of have a grab bag of things. Yeah, we didn't really have too much to talk about. So we're just kind of talking about a plethora of things that kind of we have a little bit to say about. Yes. One thing we dislike heavily and yeah. two things we... we Actually, it's one thing we hate, one thing we love, and one thing, thing in the middle. We just kind of... Yeah, we just yeah. don't really have a, a, too much of a good or bad feeling about just kind of opinion yes so if you want you know if you're here and you want to hear our thoughts on k-pop songs that yep. is not this episode sorry um but we will start this episode with the biggest news story um we don't normally talk about news yeah and if this if if anything of greater significance had happened we would not be talking about this yeah steven and um, i we we sometimes have like an after show show where you know we do dump some dumpster dive in where we kind of Go into some rumors and some he said, she said. And this is probably pretty close to that. Yeah. But this happened. There is no yeah. doubt that this happened. Right. Um, and uh, that is the whole GOT7 N-word stuff. Yeah. Um, now, so if you don't know, GOT7, boy group, mm -hmm. KYP, um, they recently, I think, had like a worldwide tour, or at least an American yeah. tour. And when they finished... Um, they had a, they had they a went party. To a party. They, they went, had a party. Some party party. Yeah, one of the members, uh, Mark, is American, mm -hmm. and I I assume that these are all his friends, like yeah. in California, and they just had this kind of like pool party. Giving um, us California's a bad name. Yeah, yeah, I think you give California's a bad name. Oh, that's that's oh. very rude. Ooh. Very rude. You're right. Um, now, so. Apparently, God7 or JYP doesn't know that it's 2016 and everybody yeah. has uh, smartphones. Yeah. Um, so there were some videos, two videos Snapchats, of two different things. Yes, two, yeah. two Snapchats. Yeah. Um, so the first one is of the youngest member, uh, Yu Gyeom. Mm -hmm. uh, he was uh, drinking. Yeah. Or he was vi visibly drunk. Yeah. Um, now, Yu Gyeom is 18 in American age. Yeah. But his birthday is in November, and if you're not really sure uh, how Korean age and American age works, uh, Korean age, you pretty much add uh, one year to your Western age. Unless it's not your birthday yet, then you add two. So his birthday is in November, so he would be 20 years old in Korea, which is the legal drinking age in Korea. Yes. Yeah. And I'm actually not sure how those laws work, but I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that if he's in America, you need to be following the American drinking age. Yeah, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works, but there are some instances uh, in, you know, different states where you could be at home, not in public, mm. uh, under supervision of your parents or some other older folks uh, who are able to drink, and, like, that is supposedly, quote-unquote, okay. Um, so this, for me, is not really a huge issue because I think mainly they set the drinking age... Uh, for more physical reasons than for uh, just kind of anything else. I think, in my opinion. Right, right, right. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, of the two bad things that happened, this is definitely the uh, least surprising yeah, one. Yeah. Um, I've, I've never, I don't drink, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so I never did underage drinking because mm -hmm. I don't drink. Uh, because I find it just... Well, it's two reasons. One is yeah. I can't drink. Uh, my body rejects it, yeah. like, badly. And sometimes I wish I could drink mm. uh, because everybody else is drinking and having a good time. But my body's like, no, no, no. <laughs> no fun no, for you. No fun for you. I don't know why your body's like this well, weird, uh, Italian weird Italian Russian. Russian, Italian -Russian guy. Like, no, you must feel like you're going to throw up instantly. Wait, that's more of an Indian accent I'm going in. Yeah, you, you got to work on that. My body's weird. Yeah. Um, so, you know, under, I think underage drinking shouldn't happen. I know it happens a lot, but, mm -hmm. but I do think that, for example, maybe if they weren't drinking a lot, then none of this would have happened. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, drinking leads to other stupid things. Stupid decisions. Yes, drinking leads to stupid decisions. Um, but that, that one is understandable. But again, like... If you're an, a worldwide idol star, yeah, probably either tell people not to videotape you, you yeah. know, or you shouldn't be underage drinking. Yeah, what it kind of boils down to for me is that it got seven. You done goofed because you're you're not being responsible in the public eye, even though you're in a a private place. 
it is essentially um, you know a public space because everybody's got their phones there's a lot of eyes on you and you kind of have a, a, rep a reputation to upkeep yeah so it's very very irresponsible for you to do just kind of things that will have people kind of talking about you yeah. in a negative way right I mean, especially right in Korea where like... Exactly. It's especially harsh. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, when you're an idol, you should not you should be the perfect model citizen, mm -hmm. right? In Korea. Right. Um, and it's a shame. But that's the small thing. Um, so what's the big thing, Josh? So the huge thing, in my opinion, uh, is Bam Bam. Uh, he's a Thailand member. Well, he's from Thailand originally. Uh, he drops the N-bomb. He yeah. drops the hard R and the hard R, the E R and bomb, yes, um, supposedly. Does. And I mean, not supposedly. I mean, there's video. Yeah. I mean, it is hard to tell who said it, but judging from all of the reaction and mm -hmm. the fact that Bam Bam was never like, that ain't me, bro. You know, yeah. he um, never denied it. He actually yeah. even apologized. He uh, did. Instead. Um, so he, uh, so. The video is just yeah. a Snapchat again, and yeah. it's kind of like a big group of Asian guys, and you can hear some of the other guys, or at least one of the other guys, say... You know, dropping N-bombs. Yeah. With an A. With the the, the A-N-bomb. Which is... I'm not a big fan of either. But... Right. Well, first, I just want to describe what happens, and then we can talk mm -hmm. about our feelings. And then I think someone calls Bam Bam over, yeah. and Bam Bam walks over, and he's just like... He drops hey, the hard... Hey! Hard R. Um, and that's it. It sounds really, really bad. So there are two problems with this, mm -hmm. okay? So one uh, is just inherently what's wrong with it, and what, the other one is all the fans making excuses for, yeah. for why this is okay. Right. So I want to first focus on like just our opinions our about him thoughts, saying about it, him saying yeah, and then we'll um, then we'll have some you know comments about how right we feel about the fans kind of res response to that. So I think we also come f uh, are have very different backgrounds for that. I think I, so. Yeah. I, I'm from Texas. Mm -hmm. Um, and plenty of people say that stuff in Texas, uh, but I was never one of them. Not, mm -hmm. Neither were any of my friends. We would mm -hmm. not. Uh, uh, but I do know some of my like friends of friends, like usually fobs, usually more um, mm -hmm. uh, fresh off the boat people. Those are people that recently came from Taiwan or, mm -hmm. or whatever. Uh, they would say it, mm -hmm. the, these Asian people. Um, but uh, in my head, it has always been a word that you just never ever ever say yeah. it. you just never should say it yeah don't say that shit uh, so i guess my background uh i did grow up kind of poor but in no way i would say i'm like hard or like gangster or anything definitely not probably the opposite but i did grow up uh around a lot of people who you know were really really into hip-hop i was really into hip-hop as well and that's kind of a huge word that goes hand in hand with hip-hop especially nowadays and i heard it a lot i heard a lot of people say it and uh, I'm not going to lie, I said it also when I was younger, trying to be cool, uh, like, you know, bravado and all that stuff. But as I got older, it just kind of, you, you, you wise up, you smart enough, you realize why you're doing things and repercussions of the words you're saying. No. And, you know, Bam Bam, he's a young guy too. And, you know, that doesn't excuse it, but there are, you know, there are fingers to be pointed and there are kind of wrists to be slapped and you know he needs to know that it's not not cool mm -hmm. uh and not a cool thing to say yeah no i i like i think for me that right i think we both agree that mm. the line is there, there's no line the line is just don't you don't, don't say, say it. it just don't say right? it yeah um it's just not something you should do yeah and, and i mean i'm under also the opinion like you know a lot of you know black people a lot of my black friends will say like you know we can say it like, because, you know, it's our word, or whatever. I, I'm still not a fan of that. I think the word has, you know, it originated from something bad. And just because it was a bad word and you're trying to make it cool and whatever now, it doesn't erase that history to me. Yeah. Like, I've never, I, I don't personally understand that, right? Because I, I'm never like, what's up, my chink, right? Like, yeah. that's weird to me. Like, why would I use this word? Why would I, yeah. That means it's something derogatory. bad. It's derogatory, but, yeah. 